what's up you guys after show reacts here and today i'm going to be reacting to uh some more marvel's agents of shield this is season 5 episode 19 i plan to finish season 5 today uh whether or not that happens we'll see won't we um so yeah if i do finish today i just want to let you know that it took me four days what of it anyways um let's get into it once Zephyr-1 breaks through the upper atmosphere, we can slingshot the Gravitonium at high velocity into the sun, destroying it for good. As anxious as we are to contain an element that may cause the future destruction of the planet, we have to get Zephyr ready for space travel first. Future destruction? It's complicated. Just go with it. But I've been talking to Tony Kane. What, my Tony? Kane man? He's arranged for Krill's treatment, and he says he could take care of Robin and Polly. For now. Great. Do it. Maybe Davis can... I'll take him. What happened it's to Hunter and Bobby? Bobby? I thought they were gonna look after them. Unless there's some objection. Can't they do it again? No. They'll be safe from not here. I was afraid you'd have to quake Ruby and crack the Earth. That shouldn't even be an issue, speaking of cutthroat. All right, let's there keep it productive. There would already be a crack in the universe if he had Look, I did what I did. I'm not proud, but it was the right choice. It was revenge. You let your emotions get the best of you. Ruby should be locked up, and she's not the only one. We all have blood in our hands. Why am I being singled out? That's not what we do because here. It's a... This is shield. She's young. She was a psychopath. This is about not following your orders. It's about both. Well, we didn't pick you. You didn't pick Carlson either, Carlson but you made follow that him. And brought you back when he could have broken their loop right there. All right, stop it. I'm sorry, it's just pissing me off yes. a little bit. I made that decision, and I'll be making the rest today. So is this normal? The weird mission? Yeah. Fighting? That's new. You're to ask me if I'm okay? Not if I don't have to. Good. Then tell me what the Candyman's got. Thinks he found something connected to the Deathlock program. Garrett, could be a stretch, but... They could keep Coulson alive. Whether he likes it or not. Once you have him, Robin, and her mom set up, go dark. I'll cover for you here. Okay. Thank you for being sane. Robin said someday Colson would put all the pieces together. That has to mean something. I'm not sure you actually know what multiverse means. That every choice we make spins out a different timeline into the cosmos, and right now there are infinite parallel universes. Yeah. Like right now, there's a but Shannon who's probably watching the Vampire Diaries. Or you are proof that we are in one timeline in a loop. An infinite, intractable, unchangeable loop. Look, it's not like I'm just gonna blink out of existence. I lived in one timeline, but now I live in this new one, and I think I'm gonna stay in the one with the sun and tacos and all that, because that's the multiverse, that's science. Well, you're a Canadian at coal mine. I don't know what either of those things are. We won't know if we're successful at changing the future unless you blink out of existence. Yes. Gemma agrees. She actually wrote a paper on the theory. Nobody of... knows how it works. Four three point nine four six two dash seven six four one point one. Coulson! Coulson! Phil. It's like a record that just keeps skipping in my head. The numbers. Why did you come in? You should have spoke to him through the wall. I was with Robin. Okay. Calm down. But I was at the control box. Why? What was I doing there? Trying to get the doors open? I'm Air Force, Phil. I know enough about navigational aids to know that every hangar has a landing. Assist. Four three point nine four six two dash seven six point one one nine one. Phil, tell me that's not what I think it is. Our location. It came out of nowhere. Any word from outside? They jammed our communications and exterior cameras. As far as we can tell, both the lighthouse and River's End have been cut off from the rest of the world. That's not reassuring. Project Reclamation mm -hmm. has been triggered. It appears you are experiencing an apocalypse-level event. Uh, this guy again? Please remain calm. This moment in human history is what this bunker was designed for. 
That actually is kind of reassuring. If the lighthouse is experiencing an extreme weather event, press one. Agent Coulson, I can't silence the alarms. If you're experiencing a nuclear attack, press two. Screw it. For an alien invasion, press three. You have selected a nuclear attack for your own health, safety, and radiation protection. All outer doors will remain sealed for 15 years. Did he just say 15 years? How was I supposed to know there would be an alien invasion option? You always well, you listen waited. to the whole menu. Always. Yes! What? Who oh, said? That was dumb. All exits, including the hangar, have been sealed to protect us from any outside intrusion. Which is good, because there is currently a sizable alien spaceship overhead. Oh, and... Technical malfunction. The lighthouse thinks we're under nuclear attack, so we may be trapped inside for 15 years. <laughs> Ish. No, 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 no. I, I am so stupid. Why am I still in here? Oh, hey. I know this guy. Phil Coulson, Humanity's Shield. Yeah, I remember you too. I'm here for what was promised the Gravitonium. Yeah, that's going to be a hard pass. Maybe you haven't realized it yet, but this bunker, it's apocalypse proof. It can withstand a nuclear blast. We have years of food, water, and air. Is that true? Not good food. And pretty soon, the world's gonna realize there's this giant ship in its atmosphere. Won't be long before you're blown out of the sky. Too much? I want to explain. Which part? I was trying to save you. I don't like that she doesn't feel guilty about it, or you can't see that she feels guilt. You need like, to listen. You she saw still her. killed someone. Me in the future, I spoke to her. Someone she was warned like, me of all still this. A teenager. I don't want to hear it, and I don't want to know. She was trying to help us, Mac, to prevent this, to keep me from losing you. She said things. Yeah, and it's making you crazy. This whole future thing has got you all acting crazy. I don't want to know. But you, you, you think I don't, don't care about what happened to your arms? You don't care enough. How can you not want that girl to suffer for what she did? I wanted to beat her senseless, but that's not what we do. That's not us. We turn the other cheek. Did you say that to me? That she could have saved that little girl in Bahrain? No. Yeah, but she Does at she least feels guilty about it. Save lives. She feels broken about framework, it. You saw the alternative. I love you. I'm doing this for you, but you need to believe me. You need to trust that I know what I'm doing. Please, Mac. You know me. You know I may run away, but I always come back to where I started. I just don't know if I'll be here when you do. I understand that she wants revenge, and that's fine. But uh, she doesn't even feel bad. I can't tell you if what you did was right or wrong. That's up to you to decide. But it doesn't just change you, it changes how people see you. And the only thing you can do is make peace with it. I'm trying. Daisy should be back by now. We can't get a line out. But you should be able to get a signal in, right? Daisy's fine. She's gone dark. Daisy's mission wasn't just about Robin, Polly, and Creole. She's following a lead. Lead on what? A way to keep you alive. I killed Ruby for nothing. It didn't matter. It's all happening right now. Everything she told me. She who? This right here. This is how we lose. So you were wrong then. Me, Coulson is dying and we need to let him. I'm sorry, sir. I hated keeping this. I owe you so much. Galactic scavengers with no planet of their own, so they just take from others, and, and wherever they go, darkness follows. Darkness? 
that's a little vague. Well, it's not the concept of darkness, it's literal darkness. It follows them because they're magic and they can see in the dark and we can't, so it makes them kill us better with, with their claws. Did you say claws? Yeah, did I not mention the footlong razor claws? Because, yeah. Well, people in the future survive. There must be a way to stop them. No, we didn't stop them. We just, we just gave them whatever they wanted and then said thank you and cleaned up the bodies after they left. Oh, oh, oh.